office. Um, we're hearing reports that there's an increased level of flu and of swine flu at the moment. Yes, as expected, there is a, an increase in flu cases around winter time every year, and this year is no different. We normally would see seasonal flu starting in January, February. This year it started a little bit earlier in December. But the numbers of cases are no different from previous seasonal flu years. And the fact that there's swine flu, is that a concern? No. We would have expected to see the flu virus strain that was around last year, which was the swine flu strain. So we do expect most of the cases to be of this swine flu strain this year. So what type of people are more susceptible to flu? People who are most susceptible to the complications from flu are those who are, have a long-term medical condition, those who are 65 or older, those who are healthcare workers, and particularly though this year, those who are pregnant. They are most susceptible to the complications of the swine flu virus. So what can people in those groups do to protect themselves from the flu? The best protection is to get the vaccine, not the flu. And the vaccine will prevent you from developing any of the complications from the flu. The vaccine is completely safe, has been given for many years to all of those people in the at-risk groups, and it is the best protection against flu. So just once again, if I'm, uh, tell me again the risk groups for who should get the vaccine and where can they get it? The vaccine is recommended for anybody under 65 who has a long-term medical condition, anybody who's 65 and older, anybody who is a healthcare worker or a carer of somebody with a long-term medical condition, and this year particularly anybody who is pregnant. Can you tell us a little about symptoms of flu? If I have someone at home who I might think has it, how can I recognise the flu? What are the symptoms? Flu comes on you very suddenly. You can be feeling perfectly well in the morning and you can be completely flattened by lunchtime. You can have, you have no energy, you have aches and pains, you have a high temperature and you feel generally very unwell. You have to go home and go to bed and rest. Where, compared to a cold where you feel a bit muzzy, you can actually function. So there's a big difference between flu and the common cold. And how does a person treat the flu? What should you do if you have the flu? The best thing if you have the flu is to stay at home, stay warm, stay in bed, get plenty of rest and drink plenty of fluids. You can also take over-the-counter remedies to take down your temperature and to make you generally feel a little bit better. But after a day or two, you should start to improve. You will often have um, be quite tired after having had the flu, and that is quite normal. That is something that takes a little bit longer. But if your symptoms get worse, if you have difficulty in breathing, or you don't start to improve after a few days, you should contact your own doctor to see whether you need to get any additional help. And how can we avoid spreading flu around? Flu is an infectious disease that spread through coughs and sneezes. The best way to prevent coughs and sneezes is if you do cough or sneeze, to either use a tissue or to cover your mouth with your hand. To then dispose of the tissue carefully and wash your hands always. You should always wash your hands before food and after using the toilet and after coughing and sneezing. And by doing that, it's a very effective way of stopping the spread of the virus. Okay, Brenda Corcoran, thank you very much. Thank you.